How to make real estate website with a Squarespace. Hello guys, Celia here. In this video, I'm going to show you how can we easily build our own real estate website on Squarespace. Nothing hard, so let's get started. Here we are on squarespace.com and we need to click on get started in the right top. If you're new to this platform, you'll have to create an account, but you can easily do it with your Gmail or create a separate account. And we'll come to this page where now we need to choose the necessary template and you need to know that Squarespace provides us the opportunity to use the templates. We can easily customize them, change content, images, pictures, uh, like videos, text inside, and it will be pretty easy to create our own website from the template. And they're divided into different topics. As you can see, we have a couple of topics we can use. And of course, the most suitable as for us now is real estate and property. So let's click on it. And now we can find six best templates to interact with. So we can use this one, this one, this one, and this three uh, templates. Of course, you need to know that you can easily like um, interact with other templates. You can just change all the content, but sometimes the structure is more related with real estate on these templates directly. So let's try to use one of these templates. For example, I'm going to use this one here. Let's click on preview. And also you need to know that uh, Squarespace websites are totally responsive. So we can easily switch between different devices. And as you can see on the phone, it looks good on the tablet. It looks good. And on the PC, it looks good also. So we can click on start with this design in the right top. And in a few seconds, our website will be automatically created and nothing hard. So now we just simply need to set up our name. Let it be like a helper months real estate. Continue next next and get started so here we are on our managing panel in the left side we can interact with the structure marketing analytics and so on and in the right side we can interact with content inside of our website and of course before like interacting with design itself i suggest you to change general things so click on this icon in the right top with a brush and then go to fonts so we can easily find a suitable font packs as for us i always use this font pack as for me it's pretty cool and all the fonts are really interesting and also i would like to change colors so go to colors and I want to change color palette for this stuff here. So yeah, also we can add it animations. I would like to add a fade animation when people will open our website, they will see these beautiful smooth animations. So now we can click on save and we can click on close. And in a few seconds, our website was a little bit changed. So now we are ready to interact with our content. But before I wanted to show you that we can also manage our structure. As you can see, we can we can find like main page here, about page and also our team and contact us. So if you want to delete, for example, our team and you would like to add this page on the main page, we can easily go to website and find all the navigation here. So we can find our team folder and we can delete it. I would like to delete because in, in a little bit, in a few seconds, I will show you how to add this area, like a small section on the main page. So here we are, we can go to the main and let's click on edit to see how will it look like, how our editor looks like on Squarespace. And as you can see, every single object here is divided into blocks. We have this section here, this section here, and every single element is like an element we can click, we can um, change the position, change the size, we can select this stuff, make it bold, italic, underline, change the alignment, change the style, and so on. Uh, we can do the same with this thing, with these, these, and also, as you can see, we have these huge sections like a part of the website and we can click on add a section in order to add something. As I already said, I would like to add a people area. So I want to add my team right up here and let's move it a little bit down. So hover and then just simply click on move down, move down once more. I would like to place it to the end of the website like this and also like this. So let, let, it, let it stay right up here. And in order to interact with content, we can click and hover. And as you can see, 
we can edit gallery or edit the wall section. If you want to edit like photos, we need to click on edit gallery and then just add or delete necessary or unnecessary photos inside of this section. If you click on edit section, we can change some other parameters, columns, spacing, uh, captions, and so on. And the same stuff with every single thing here. For example, let's try to manage our team. So let's click on edit content. We need to click on content, then just select the necessary one. For example, this one here, and then we can change the description. So let it be like real estate agent. Like this. As you can see, all the changes were automatically added to our website and the same stuff we can do with every single member of our team. Or if it's unnecessary, we can delete someone, for example, the last person inside of the list. So now it looks like this. Let's try to find, is it possible to change the background? Let it be like this here. So yeah, as you can see, we have a lot of options here. And now you know how to interact with, um, you know, how to interact with editor. If you want to know um, like more features, I suggest you to watch my other tutorials. You can find the playlist in the end of this video. And now I want to show you how can we add some additional stuff. How can we manage CEO? We need to open marketing, go to CEO appearance. And here I suggest you to read a CEO checklist. So you'll be able to know how to manage CEO stuff as for like as for the whole website, how to make it easier to show as a search result as for us. And we can also find some analytics. We can go to analytics here to find some sales information, traffic, geography, sales by product and so on. So yeah, and in order to run our website on Squarespace, we need to upgrade our plan. So in order to find them, we need to click on subscribe in the bottom of the screen and then just simply find the necessary. As you can see, we have a personal business commerce and commerce like basic and commerce advanced. Uh, if you want to discover like full prices, $22, 33, 36 and $65 per month. And basically uh, we have a lot of features, but in order to start with real estate website, the best variant I think is personal or business. So it depends on your choice. And if we'll try to compare it with uh, commerce, we can see the difference in uh, transaction fees for product sales. So it depends on your own. As I already said, if you want to know some more in-depth information about Squarespace, I suggest to watch these tutorials right up here. And if you are uh, new to this channel, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below. And that's it for this video. Hope this video made your life a little bit easier and goodbye guys.